have you guys checked out this new feature? MJ Air Freshener Championship MJ Air Freshener. How sick is that? Thought I'd show you it to kick off the episode. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the thrift. We are back on a Thursday morning, ready for another one. And the possibilities are endless out there. We're going to be thrifting for pretty much the entire morning. There's going to be a good four hours of sorting through these op shops to try and find great items to sell onto eBay. That's what I do full time. Uh, let's get into it. Let's turn the car on, take MJ and I along and um, try and find some cool stuff. We'll see you in there. Let's kick things off in a category I know and love, guys, the DVDs. I've been able to find Pokemon, a brand new sealed DVD here, which is always one thing you look for. And uh, Jirache Wishmaker goes for about $25. So a pretty good start there in the DVDs. Also found a bit of nostalgia from my childhood as well. These Goosebump books, there was seven of them, a mixed assortment. I reckon I read every single one of these as a kid growing up. Let me know in the comments if you did too. But whenever I see these in the thrift, which to be honest, isn't all too often, uh, I do have to go ahead and pick them up. I, th I think I'll be able to push them for about 35 bucks on eBay as a bit of a bundle, including free postage. So not a huge profit, but still just something I can't pass on. I found this as well, tailor-made. This is a set of a dozen golf balls, a $7 cost here. I've got a good mate of mine that will be watching this video. He is a keen golfer, so these will be going out to him, but you could push them on eBay for about $30 as well. So there could be a couple of dollars made if you wanted to flip them. Also found this as a viewer poll question for my Instagram followers. Uh, these are the Levi Strauss 501. 38 waist, a 34 length as well. Let me know what you would have done if you were in the thrift and you saw these jeans yourself. There was a $20 price tag on them. So I'd be very curious to get your thoughts in the comments below, but I'll let you know what the Instagram guys thought a little bit later. And then I found this one as well. Love my soccer jerseys, the Real Madrid. This is the FIFA 2017 World Cup Edition jersey. It's a genuine Adidas piece of merchandise, a $10 price tag. Raul Gonzalez on the back, a pretty cool find. And then sticking on the indoor soccer theme, I found the Nike Tiempo X. Uh, these are a really nice pair of shoes. Should get about $45, I would say. The soles are pretty good and it was only a $10 purchase. All right, guys, not a bad first little start there. Uh, a couple of little nostalgia pieces with the Pokemon and the Goosebumps. Um, that soccer jersey was pretty sweet as well, but uh, the viewer poll question in that one was around the Levi Strauss jeans, and uh, you guys did say to drop them, and that's probably fair. I was a little bit curious, actually, around the length of the jeans. I didn't think they were a true 34 length. A little bit suspect. Um, I didn't mention that in the Instagram poll, but at $20, you guys have said to leave that one behind. I have sold the 501s in the past uh, for around about 60, 70 bucks. So I knew that if, if they were genuine, there was probably some dollar in it, but um, had to pass in the end based on what you guys were saying as well. So thank you very much for that. Um, just a few small things. It's, it's been typically, a well, it's been a slow start today, but um, let's keep moving on for op shot run number two and, and hopefully we can lift our game. A huge start to op shop run number two. Check this one out. We've got the Essendon Bombers 2000 Premiers T. This is just a really sweet find. Now there's a $12 price tag on it. It is brand new with tags and it's a size medium. The bloke behind the counter was very, very nice and he actually gave me a deal. I bought two t-shirts and I got them for $10 a piece. So 10 bucks, I should be able to turn that one into maybe 50 bucks, something like that. Brand new tee. That's just an unbelievable find. This one as well. I also found this, which I've never seen before. The West Coast Eagles, another team in the AFL. This is a 2XL. It's a Hawaiian shirt variation. So uh, quite strange, but there were comps on eBay for about 60 bucks. We've got a grand final day party coming up and it's themed shit shirt Saturday. So I actually might be throwing this one on next week. Also found this one as well. This was the Nike Air Max 97s. These are the GS Blacks, a really cool pair of shoes. It's an Instagram viewer poll question as well for 20 bucks. Let me know in the comments below if you would have bought those. These are a really good grab and I've gone ahead and purchased these. These are the Lunarons. They're plain gray, the fly knits. They're a US 15 and they're an $18 price point. So for me, I actually like selling the larger sizes because those with the bigger feet, US 15s, actually find it really tough to find a bigger shoe. So to be able to find these in the thrift in excellent condition like you're seeing right here, I actually think this is a really great grab and I'm, I'm very happy to see how they go on eBay. This is a brand for you guys to be looking out for. The brand is Burton. It's uh, basically known from my snowboarding days when I spent a bit of time over in Canada uh, rolling the slopes of uh, Big White Ski Resort. But uh, this one over here, unfortunately, there was no price 
price tag on it, I asked behind the counter to get a, uh, a check on the price, and she said $30. I would best be able to get about 60 on eBay. So I did pass on that one in the end. And then this one as well, this is the Spider-Man trike or bicycle. This is just a very sick find. And for $20, uh, Facebook Marketplace was in my ear. I thought maybe maybe 100 bucks or 50 bucks, something like that, to make me some profit on Facebook Marketplace. Could have been a good option, but in the end, I did just pass. We are slowly building into this day, guys. Op shop run number two was a good one. We picked up four items, but I actually think it was a better run than the first run of the day. So things are slowly building. Those Lunarons, uh, size US 15, I actually don't mind picking up the larger sizes. Uh, quite hard to find out there for those boys out there with the large shoe. But uh, anyway, I went ahead and grabbed those. Uh, the other one, the viewer poll question of the day was the um, was the, the Nike Air Max 97 GS Blacks. And um, my deliberation on that one it was around the size. It was a six youth. Uh, $20 was okay because I know the shoe's going to sell pretty well, but it was the size. I'm always sort of tend to be buying a, a larger size. You guys unanimously said to pick them up though, so they, I've gone ahead and done it, and um, I'm pretty happy about it because I think I think it was a good decision. Um, so thank you very much for your help with that one. I'm going to push about 70 bucks for it um, on eBay. So we'll see how we go with those. Condition of them being excellent. Let's keep moving. Op shop run number three is coming up, and hopefully we can continue to build on what is so far a pretty good day. Not a whole heap going on in this uh, op shop downstairs. I found this Disney t-shirt on the Zara tag, size large. Um, I've ended up grabbing this one. It won't make me a whole heap of money on eBay, but pretty cool nonetheless. I found this Hawaii football club top as well. This was a size medium on the Hainless tag. Only a $4 purchase. I did leave that one behind though. As cool as it was seeing it in a thrift store, but all the interesting stuff seemed to be upstairs. But there was a do not enter sign. You couldn't get up there. So I asked the ladies, I said, do you mind if I just pop up for five to 10 minutes just for a bit of a look around? And she said, yeah, go on, but just make sure it's quick. Don't be spending too much time up there. So I made my way up and the first thing that I found was a Mambo Loud shirt and I was blown away. Nobody is up here. So I've got first look at all of these clothing items and look at that. It's a $4 price point on this Mambo Loud tee. So I'm absolutely blown away by this. I don't know exactly how much this one's going to go for, but these are a huge collector's item. And if you get the right ones, they can go for a pretty decent price point. So I was blown away to see that first of all. And then that made me want to dig into what we had here. And as you'll see, there was some really nice tees. There was some single stitch tees that you're seeing right here. Really cool prints on them as well. The, the price was slightly elevated. They'd put all these tees at a price point of $15. But what I quickly realized was that it was a wholesale, American wholesale purchase that they'd made and that had all of these tees shipped in from the US. I'd be very interested to get your thoughts on yeah, op shops basically going ahead and buying wholesale agreements like us resellers and trying to up, up their price and make a bit of a profit. I don't know. It's a donation center. These guys are deliberately buying their gear to make a profit. And uh, I, I just, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Nonetheless, have a look at all of these. There's some really nice t-shirts. Margaritaville, Waikiki. This one was a, a vintage 1997 uh, Big Dogs tee. If you turn it on the back here in just a sec, there's a really nice big back print on it as well. If you can't run with the Big Dogs, stay on the porch. I thought that was really cool. And as you'll see there, there's a little marking that says 1997. So some really sort of non-op shop type items. Uh, th these are the items that you kind of dig for all the time. And yet here I am through the loom, super cotton. You don't see this stuff in Gold Coast op shops. So I'm absolutely blown away to be even actually being able to have a check them out. But um, in the end, $15, I, I do still think it's quite a high price point. So I'm reluctant to go ahead with any purchasing. I'm just kind of enjoying what I'm seeing. The Kansas City Chiefs, as you can see here, 15 bucks. I almost bought that one. That was brand new with tags. I might have could have pushed about 35 for that. And then a Rambo tee. I thought that was pretty cool as well. That's not vintage or anything. It's sort of new school, but still pretty cool. Uh, that one was $15 as well. Fruit of the Loom tag as well. So... Very interesting upstairs, guys. In the end, I only came away with the Mambo Loud shirt, but let me know what your thoughts are about op shops buying wholesale. Hey, a huge thank you to the girls in the op shop for allowing me to just sneak up the staircase and have a look at that vintage clothing allocation. Even at $15, I was seriously deliberating on a couple of t-shirts there. I did find the Mambo Loud tee, and guys, the numbers on these Mambo Loud tees on eBay, you're talking three to $400 if you can get the right one. I don't know if exactly the one that I've got there is going to be worth too much, but uh, still, nonetheless, to be able to sneak upstairs and grab a Mambo Loud shirt for four bucks, I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, just the two tees in that run, but it's um, a bit of a connection there for the next few weeks to maybe see if these wholesale pallets from the US keep coming in. I 
might be able to cherry pick myself some pretty cool teas. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll get back into that over the next couple of weeks for you. But um, let's keep moving, guys. I'm at Harbour Town now because I need a phone charger for the car, and uh, we'll then jump into op shop run number four and uh, finish the day on high. Now you're probably thinking I've stuffed up here with this uh, lack of shoes that you're seeing, but I've actually just put them all on the floor. Have a look at this. We've got six different shoes to pick from here. So a really great start to op shop run number four. I've got the Tiger Onisukas. Now I've put these into the trip to the thrift videos before. They are a very good shoe and you can get some good money for them, but there was no price tag on these shoes. And uh, being a high top, slightly different to what I've seen in the Tiger Onisukas before, I was a little bit unsure what to do. This is actually an Instagram viewer poll question. These are the Dark Earth Merrill hiking shoes. A $20 price tag is my deliberation, but they were in excellent condition as you can see there. So let me know in the comments, what would you do with these Merrells if you saw them in the thrift. This one was a bit of a no-brainer for me. The New Balance, as you can see, they're in fantastic condition. Uh, there's a $15 price point on it, so I'm always happy to commit to that. 15 is generally the most that I'll pay for a pair of shoes. Uh, I found these as well, Macbeth. I've got a bit of a soft spot for the brand Macbeth. If you've never heard of it, Tom DeLong, he's the lead singer for Blink-182. I love Blink-182, and uh, these are his shoe brand. So uh, $8, no-brainer yet again. Found these ones as well, um, Adidas running shoes, uh, just a plain black. They are slightly used, as you can see there. They only retail for about 160. Uh, the comps on eBay were telling me pretty much to not go ahead with the purchase on those ones. Uh, the same for these. They're actually not an, a, a high-level shoe. They're more of an entry level. Um, so for that reason, there was a $20 price tag on them. I, I couldn't commit to that. The resale value is only worth about 40 bucks for those Pumas. So as much as they were in like new condition, they're just not going to get me much money on eBay. In the end, I, I looked these three out and then I did my research on the footy boots and realized I had to put them back on the shelf as well. But it's the Merrells that I'm still delivering liberating on. I'm waiting to hear what you guys think on Instagram. These were the other pair of shoes as well, the Puma First Rounds. These are Puma Originals, really great pair of shoes, $15 price point. It's another Instagram viewer poll question. I'm sitting on the fence with these ones. I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments below, what would you do with the Puma First Rounds? Would you pick them up for 15 or would you leave them? A very interesting op shop run number four to end the day, guys. There, there are actually two viewer poll questions in that one. The first one of those Puma Originals, the first rounds. They are actually, they look, they were a great shoe. Fifteen dollars. I thought that was a pretty fair price as well. And uh, the, the votes were so close. I love it when the votes are close. Fifty-one percent. 49% is what I was seeing in the op shop around the decision on these. And in the end, I actually sided with the 51% to drop and uh, I didn't pick them up. I just think the sell through rate, the $15 price point was okay, but I think they might've taken a while to sell. So for that reason, I left them back on the shelf. The other one was the Merrill, um, the Dark Earth Merrills, uh, a very cool pair of shoes. Look, Merrills are a great hiking brand. I knew you guys were gonna say cop and uh, the percentages were certainly there for it. $20. You can sell those shoes for 60 or 70 bucks, so there's definitely profit in there. Um, but there were two things that I didn't show you guys in the Instagram uh, video um, that really kind of swayed me to actually go against buying the Merrells. And there was a bit of tear in the fabric of the inner heel, and there was also a sole missing as well in one of the shoes, the inner sole. So um, for those reasons, I just didn't want to go ahead with the Merrells um, at that $20 purchase price. A little bit less, I still might have considered it. Um, but yeah, I actually passed on both of those viewer poll questions. Um, we got 13 items today. I've gone to about seven different op shops and I've come away with 13 items. So either it was slim pickings out there today or I was very, very particular about what I was selecting. So I think the winner of the day was definitely the um, the, the Loud, the Mambo Loud shirt. That's gonna be interesting to look into. And then the Air Max 97s, that was a really great get as well. So all in all, look, I'm, I'm really stoked with the 13 items that I've been able to purchase, all at a pretty fair price as well. And um, you guys have certainly help me out with the viewer poll questions on Instagram. Remember to go and give me a follow on Instagram if you want to do this in future weeks. I get a real kick out of doing it, so make sure you jump on there. So the 30% clubbers, I don't, I haven't forgotten about you guys. I haven't mentioned you in the last couple of videos, but thanks for being here. I really do appreciate you sticking around to the very end. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. I'm looking forward to cutting this one up when I get back home, getting it out to you this afternoon. Same day uploads. I find it and then I put it up into a video on the very same day. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Until next week, guys, we'll see you soon.